real nice. Hey, you can step outside, my brother. Hey, cool. What kind of doors are these? What kind of doors are those? I don't know. French doors? Good. So, damn, almost dropped this. Lighter. Birthday, birthday thoughts. You know, yesterday was my birthday. Uh, like I said, we're out here. This cool little villa that we got for a couple of days or whatever. And um, every year I try to do these like birthday reflections or whatever. So I was sitting there thinking, I was just like, damn, I'm blessed. I, I, I felt so good just because of where I came from and uh, what I made it to, you know, just coming from a small town, you know, just working all these fast food jobs, not really doing anything, having a GED, and then just making it to where I made it at right now. I feel like that's really, really um, a blessing. So, um, man, what? I feel like I learned so much so fast. It's so crazy, especially like, Especially in business, in, mu in the music industry, I felt like I just, man, learned so many lessons. I feel, honestly, I feel like I lived like three lives within one lifetime, probably three or four. Um, one of the, I think one of the biggest things I've learned is that you shouldn't mix business with your friends and family. I think you should keep those things aside. Uh, it, it just hardly ever works out. Um, I think also what I learned is manage your money um, and don't just don't blow money that you don't have. Um, I did I did that a lot at the beginning of my career, just buying all these cars and buying just different things to try to impress other people. You know what I'm saying? And just wasting a lot of money. So uh, because in in life it comes with ups and downs. So you're not all, you're not always going to be up. So when those down moments come, you want to make sure that you did right with your money, created different business businesses and uh, made different investments and came up with different financial strategies that help you along the way of your life, which is very, very important. Nobody's ever going to be hot forever. So it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you keep. Um, also, stay away from managers who want to be cool. Uh, that may sound weird, but listen to me. When you, when you have a, most artists and uh, producers that I meet, they're always trying to find, build their team. They're always trying to find different management. But the managers that will fuck you over the most are the ones who's trying to compete with you. The ones who are always trying to be flashy, flashy. The ones that are always, you know, trying to dress and go shopping and trying to be in the limelight. If, if your manager is trying to be too cool, then he's, he's, it, it's inevitable. He's gonna fuck you over. So stay away from managers, managers who are trying to be cool and that are, because they're com they're low key competing with you. Like, how can you do your job if you're over here trying to be in a limelight? How can I trust you with my money and trust you to actually fulfill this job by getting me shows, getting me placements and doing all these other things when you're too busy trying to take pictures and have a look? You know what I mean? So managers should not be in the spotlight. So stay, if you, if you are watching this and you're an artist or producer and you're looking for managers, Stay, find the most corniest person. Also, the second thing is, <laughs> that's funny, I said find the most corniest person, but I'm for real. You don't want no cool manager. You want a manager that's about their work, about their numbers, and people that just handle their business. The second thing is, uh, what would I say? I would say, um, don't, like, don't be so, don't be so fast to sign paperwork. In this game, you want to be hungry. You don't want to be thirsty. And there's a difference. Hung hunger is somebody who's like working every day. They, you know, they have their vision board. They have their goals. They work every day to get closer and closer to their dreams. Um, but they still have respect for themselves and they still do things in a certain type of way. But thirsty is somebody who literally will sell their soul just for a check. They don't give a damn. They'll just sign anything. And a lot of people are more thirsty nowadays than they are hungry. And then they end up regretting it. How many of your favorite artists this in the past two years have went on Twitter and said, I, I, Atlantic won't let me out my deal. How? And it's like, damn, I thought you was a boss. I, it, like what happened? Because when you signed those deals, you didn't read between the lines. You didn't have a management. You were so thirsty to get on. You were so thirsty for that little bag. And then you end up realizing that that bag wasn't worth it. So always be hungry, but don't, don't ever be thirsty. And, um, 
What else? It's early in the morning, by the way, so I'm having like brain parts and everything. Good. Um, what else have I learned? Big, big things in life that I've learned so far. Um, I don't know. That's all I can really think of. I'm probably gonna do a, probably gonna do a part two to this video, but I just want to. You know, I just woke up and I was like, let me just shoot some type of content with the different things on my mind. But I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely blessed. I, I like the fact that how I'm transitioning from, like I'm still producing for artists, but I like how I'm transition, transitioning to helping artists and producers make it um, by coming out with different tools, products, and different courses to really just help you um, just get to the top. Because a lot of, you could do this shit on your own. You don't. At the beginning, you need to learn everything before you start hiring it out. And a lot of times, people just start off, hey, I don't need a manager, hey, I need a deal. No, you don't. You need to focus, make music, learn how to put it out, and learn how to promote yourself. And if you do those things, then everything will come to you. So sometimes you can, you can look for things too early. There's a step-by-step -step way that you, you have to do these things. I, and I came out with different courses, and I'm coming out with more different things to just teach everything that I know. Everything that you need to know to be a successful producer or artist. Um, but I'm glad to be in this position after 10 years of having so many platinum hits. I'm glad that I have the authority and the knowledge to really come back and just give, because that's what it's about. I don't give a fuck how much money you make. It, it ain't about the money, it's not about success. It, I believe in each one, teach one. So that's what I'm doing, that's my mission, is just to really help um, specifically independent artists and producers get to the top and achieve their goals and, and, and cut the learning curve by doing it fast. So I hope you guys appreciate this video. Make sure you uh, like, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, whatever people say. I'm trying to copy all these YouTubers. I hate saying that shit. But just, if you fucking like this shit, just fucking follow it. I don't know.